my students trying to get this desk here, this, these two desk parts, to fold over. And so one sits on top of the other directly like this. So this is a angled desk. And this is the bisecting angle of the two parts, which makes it really convenient because I'm going to use that bisecting angle. So in order to get this to flip directly over to there, I do need to use that bisecting angle. So what I'm going to do is turn that side off. I'm going to use my tool here. This tool is the set working plane tool. There it is there. I'm going to set a working plane at the top of this. It doesn't have to be the top, but I'm going to set it at the top midpoint. And that creates my working plane, but it doesn't rotate it the way that I need it to be rotated. So I'm going to grab the green dot here, rotate that 90 degrees. Now that means that my working plane is now perpendicular to the bisecting angle of my desk. It's really important because when I select this object here and I get my rotate tool, I can use my working plane now to rotate my desk portion and to get it to come all the way over. And you'll notice that if you just watch that ghost, it sits perfectly on top of my other part of the desk. This is really cool. And by using the bisecting angle, I get it to sit exactly where I need to. So there it is. So it's kind of cool. Hope you enjoyed that movie. If you like this movie, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. It really helps people to find my movies and become a subscriber. If you're not already a member of my YouTube channel, don't forget to become a member. You'll find that there's a huge number of movies there. They're much longer movies. So if you really need to learn more about Vectorworks, then become a member and start to watch those longer form movies. Thanks for watching.